Guess who's got new bases? <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com. I had to look down because I wasn't sure what my line was. <laughs> Today, I have the latest and greatest from Elric's Hobbies. They have their new Imperial Walkway series of bases in both beveled and rounded lip as well. They sent us a huge big box with all the varieties um, for at least the beveled side of things. Not necessarily the rounded lip side of things, but those of you that play those those games that require those bases, I'm sure they have all your sizes because I always start at Elric's Hobbies. Whenever I have a project and I'm like, yo, let me go check out some bases, I wander over there, I look for the latest and greatest, I look for something cool, and I would say the majority of my armies are based with Elric's Hobbies. Not because I promote for them, but because I love their shit. <laughs> and that means I'll promote for them. <laughs> so that being said, let's jump into this one. Uh, so I can show you some of what they got going on on their website, some of the pricing, uh, some some bases have already been painted up. You probably saw them in the intro. And then we can take a look at them here on the paint table as well. Okay, so here it is, elrixhobbies.com. And they don't just have bases here. Let's go out to the, uh, the main screen here. They don't just have bases, believe it or not. Uh, they have a lot of different paints and hobby supplies as well. There you can see some of the stuff. Um, and then their featured items are always at the bottom. So you can see the last two offerings. They have a set that you can use with Curse City because these bases would work exceptionally well with Curse City for sure. Uh, they're just that style and it's great. And you can see from the painted images you know, in the intro on this one right here, which I took from their site, uh, there's so many different designs and so many different styles from mosaics, different, you can even, I mean, you could paint like a fresca on there if you really wanted to. I mean, there's just so many different potential that you can make it look so much different depending on how you paint it. And of course, the Tomb World bases that we showed you already, which are great for Necron players, they might've come out a little too late for a lot of people starting their armies. But if you're just starting up a Necron army right now, these bases are pretty dope too. And I think probably one of the things, and you gotta go in here to model bases to check out all their offerings. Um, and they've got all the stuff across the top here. And usually their newest stuff is in here. Here it is right here. What I really like about this, I mean, the designs are fresh, but this is the second manufacturer in a row that we've depended on when this video comes out that we've seen a 3D printed element included with the product. So. It's really interesting to see lots and lots more 3D printed components making their way into independent manufacturers offerings, not necessarily wholly, but as part of their manufacturer or as part of the product. So the time, you know, the times are changing. Well, first, first it's this, then everything's just 3D printed at some point, And then we're all ordering tea out of our replicators at some point in the future. But we're not there quite yet in battling with our holograms and trying to collect them all. <sighs> and reminiscing about the analog uh, tabletop wargaming days, I suppose. But while we're in the analog tabletop wargaming days, you can see that there's pretty good value on these bases. They're, they've always had really good pricing, in my opinion. I mean, you can get a 10 pack of 25 millimeter round resin bases for 10 bucks. And then it goes it goes up from there. And unfortunately, I can't show you, show you this drop down all the different sizes they have. But they have the 25. They have the elusive 28 millimeter base that they came out with recently for the new Eldar in um, Blood of the Phoenix, I believe it was. 32 millimeters, 40 millimeters, 50 millimeters, 55s, a whole bunch of 60s, a whole bunch of 65s, 80, 90, 100, 130, 160, and then all the varieties of ovals. I'm gonna show you some of those. They're 105s, they have two 105s, because they have, remember that's the flying stand base. So they have their little crosshatch uh, notch in them too, that I'll show you one of those, which is really super dope design really something that we didn't expect it it's a super groundbreaking and i think uh you guys will appreciate it if you haven't seen it already the the 150 oval which was kind of made up for the the orc dragsters and i'm not sure maybe the war master titan is going to come on that and of course the big daddy himself 170 knight base as well and of course you can always uh, you can buy one of each and save 10 bucks. It's about $212, give or take. But I think most people just kind of go in here and just kind of get the size they need. And these 3D printed elements, and there's the cross hatching that I was talking about, they are manhole covers basically, or, or, or hatch covers, which are these little elements right here. So it's really cool to see that you have a couple different options um, if you want them on, or if you want them off, or if you want to just leave them off in OSL, highlight them as like light sources or something like that, or just paint the bases super up super nice and then maybe perhaps use them as like a, 
uh, a dark section um, that you know would be like kind of a negative to the positive of the, like the bright areas. They didn't really do it here in this picture, um, but you kind of get what I'm saying. Like if that was just a, an open hole right there, and you had like you wanted to do like a sewer or something, or, or even have you know some resin kind of pouring into it, which I think would be pretty neat. So I think going forward. You know, when we get back on the road and start seeing a lot of events, these are the bases that I think a lot of us are going to see and maybe not recognize that they are this Imperial walkway because there is going to be so much variance on how they're painted. And I can't wait to see how everybody does it. Just judging by this picture here, these already look like completely, totally different bases and they're all the same line. So here's a look at just a few of the many styles that they have that I just told you about. Of course, they've got the rounded lip. And, you know, if you play a lot of those independent games out there, this is probably your jam right here. I mean, they're, they're super good. They, you know, no filler or anything like that. Super, super crisp detail. I mean, you can see, I think my light is a little off there, but you can see every little notch, every little nook and cranny in that detail right there, which is kind of crazy. I think they're doing some designs on the computer now, um, which is really cool to see. Maybe we should zoom in a little bit get that light yeah there we go so these are super crisp and I like how like even you know there's all notches and stuff like it's worn like the pattern is actually cut in there and worn now each one of these or each set depending on what you get is gonna come with um, a few different varieties and different you know depths so you kind of have like a curb of sorts and then there's that little spot right there with the 3d printed um, doodad that you can have two different styles of manhole cover or whatever you want to call it socket cover i don't know conduit cover something like that which, which is pretty neat to see so each set of bases is only going to have a couple of those because it only their little insert their 3d printed insert only has enough um for two of them on it and each one comes with one so whether you're doing you know the 40 millimeters or something like that it's gonna basically sock it in right there and these things have different multi-level depth to it which is super nice too so like if you have some guys running you know you can get some really dynamic and cool pose poses and you know like with the curb and everything right there you can really get some organic kind of style shapes with the circular kind of arch and then you've got you know your straight edge curve and it's, there's a large variety depending on which you know set you get like these are the 32s which i imagine a lot of folks watching this video We'll probably be interested in this style right here. Again, it's gonna come with two of the uh, the areas to cover with the conduit, but you can see there's so much depth and so much variety to these bases just in the offering right here. You've got some curb, you got some rounded edges, you got some out um, just kind of in the open with no depth to it. You got some subtle depth and then you can you know mix it up with the manhole cover. So you, you know even if two bases happen to be the same, which they're not, um, you could change it up with the manhole cover conduit things right there which i thought was pretty neat now these two we had painted a buddy of mine painted these up for me because i was a little pressed for time to get this video together which i think they look great even in this style you know they're very regal very very striking you can see what a little bit application of wash right there will do you can do you know some sponge work some chipping whatever you want to do this is it's very basic just to give you an idea but you know of course they have some other uh, painted examples up there but with just a little bit of work like maybe less than an hour's worth of work you can get you know at least a couple of bases painted up and then you know obviously they're, they're the bigger size so you could get probably a majority of bases painted up like that i did want to mention they do have the flight stand with the notch cut out right there it's not as deep as the previous one so you can't do the little blue tack trick here you're gonna have to glue it down unfortunately but at least the spot is there that you can glue it down into it's just gonna take up a lot of space in your in your case because this one unfortunately is not gonna be very sturdy even if you put enough blue tack in there I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't support a big forge world resin plane or anything like that unfortunately but it will at least take your glue and everything in there but you might want to paint this separate because depending on what glue you use this will craze the clear acrylic and you know that'll look kind of messy as well and then the other variant is this one right here the 105 oval for things like you know uh, dread knights and also uh, the warlord titan in titanicus uses this size base and I think more and more things are starting to use this size base too. I just can't quite remember right off the top of my head. Uh, some of the ovals as well. I don't think, I think these are the ovals for the uh, the Admet guys. I'm not sure what else uses these, but the, even this style, like they're just, you know, they're adapted over very nicely. I think uh, these look great too, because, you know, it's basically this, you know, and maybe not that one right there, but it's not, 
it's not like shrunk or, or, or thinned down or anything like that or disproportioned. It's it's all designed from the same batch. So it's, it's going to flow with whatever you put on there. And then here's the night base. So it's flat enough that if you do want to put a night on here, you know, uh, you won't have to do a lot of conversion work. It'll just sit right on there. Remember, they have that kind of profile. So you could put one this way and then one roughly this way. So it might have to go up on this lip, but there's not a lot of depth right there. So I don't think that'll... Uh, really be too much of a problem to, to so to speak but like I said they've got the 25 millimeter base actually these are the 28 millimeter bases so these are a little bit harder to find they have some of the the you know little bit tougher to find bases like this is the 105 oval which is a little bit smaller those are for the orc dragsters and maybe the war uh, Master Titan and Titanicus and then they've got all sorts of different smaller ovals and everything on up to the big daddy right here uh, what is this? The 160 as well. So not too much comes on this. Uh, usually things more in uh, Age of Sigmar status things, which these bases would be great in 40k or even Age of Sigmar. I feel like this is going to quickly grow to be one of their most popular lines out there just because of the variance and just because of the crossover potential between both of the major lines that you might use these for for tabletop wargaming. But maybe, you know, more importantly is you can paint the same base up so many different ways that no two could really be alike. So look for a lot of these more in the future. I'm sure we'll see them out there. And like I said, I, I expect good things out of these bases uh, from LX Hobby. So Imperial Walkway, LRXHobbies.com. That's it for this one. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. And of course, you know, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos.